What's up guys, Curtis here and welcome to a little video for the FIFA 13 demo based around which team you should pick if you want to do skills, long shots and get goals generally for uh, compilations and stuff like that. It'll be basically the best team with agility uh, for bicycle kicks as well and skills and stuff in general. So we're going to start off with Arsenal FC. It has three four star skillers and 85 players with long shots. So the four star skillers, the first one is Andre Arshavin, the short Russian, everyone knows who he is. Uh, Jovino, again, got four star still skills just like last Last year. Alex Oxley Chamberlain has been bumped up from 3 to 4, which is brilliant. He's also a 75 rated guy. Podolski has 90 long shots, which is a 2 boost with his match day thing. Uh, and on these guys, basically, uh, there was a few squad issues. Some people had different squads, not updated ones. I happen to have Van Persie and me actually in my Arsenal squad. Uh, so if you've got these guys, you may have uh, Van Persie with good long shots and me actually with good long shots and 4 star skills or whatever. I have to say this graphic isn't actually correct. I've just spotted it, but it's actually 2 5 star skills. AC Milan have. You have, uh, depending on your update, I personally had Cassano uh, the four, as four star skills, but uh, then the five star skillers is El Shawari, obviously, uh, as just as last year. Uh, there's Carmona with four star skills. I think he's new to the game. He's uh, seems all right. Rubinho has kept his five star skills, which is nice uh, to see some Brazilians still keeping it. Kevin Prince Berting has been bumped up from three star skills to four, which is brilliant because he's very good. Uh, Pato's been knocked down to four star skills. Uh, I'm not too sure about that. That he barely played, which is uh, unusual. Uh, Montalivo has 85 long shots with a minus one boost from his match day, and Nocherino has 85 with a minus one boost. Uh, even drop with the match day as well. So on to Man City. They have five four-star skillers and three 85 long shots. They've got quite a few of these. Uh, Adam Johnson, uh, that this guy would be a sick four-star skillers because I didn't actually have him. And same for uh, Adebayor. He would be a seventh. But they have uh, five definite ones. Um, so as Aguero is one of them, the Argentinian retaining his four-star skills. You've got Balotelli, again, retaining his four-star skills, which is rightly deserved because he's a flair player. Uh, David Silva with four-star skills again. Uh, Brilliant left foot and still a quality player, everyone knows. Semi Nasri, four star skills. Uh, once more, it seems to be all the City players have retained their four star skills. And lastly, uh, Carlos Tevez has kept his four star skills from the previous FIFA as well. Uh, Edin Dzeko has a long shots of 85, thanks to the match day. It's a plus one boost. Uh, Kolarov has 87 long shots, which is nice. Uh, very good if you want some long shots. And Carlos Tevez has 87 long shots, which is absolutely beast. So, Borussia Dortmund, uh, they probably have the least of all these players. I believe. Uh, they've got three four-star skills and one 85-plus uh, long shot. So there's Mario Götz who has kept his four-star skills again. Uh, Gundogan, I believe he's been up upgraded. I think he was just three-star last year, but it's nice for a CDM to have it. And Marco Reus, can't remember if that's an upgrade or staying the same. And then uh, Mario Götz also has an 89 long shot. I forgot to get the uh, clip of his stats. So lastly, Juventus. They have one five-star skiller, one four-star skiller, and one 85-plus long shot. Giovinco is the five-star Skiller, and he's absolute beast. Very, very short. Been moved from Palmer. Uh, Pepe, I believe, has been upgraded to four from the three that he had last year. And Quagliarella has 92 long shot, which is absolutely ridiculous and out of control. Man City have the most players of these criteria if you want that. Uh, they've got the most, I think it's eight four star skillers slash 75 plus long shot. But I personally believe that uh, AC Milan are the best for uh, for skills and stuff due to the fact of the uh, the two five star skills that they have in El Shirai and Rubinho. However, if you want bicycle kicks, Borussia Dortmund are the team to pick. They don't have many uh, four star skillers or anything like that, but they do, however, have a lot of players with good agility. Now, I'm going to quickly try and find the Marco Reus. Uh, sorry, I've gone past this. Uh, there you go. He's got 86 agility, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, Mario Goetze, I believe... Uh, has 88 agility, um, Lewandowski, it's 80, these players are all going to be great for uh, bicycle, 83, like this is the sort of things that you need if you want to be doing bicycle kicks, now they're all fantastic uh, agility stats so that's it guys i have a couple of questions for you would you like to see more videos like this i have a couple plans say like uh, the best teams for pace things like that if you'd like to see more demo stuff let me know if you would like to see more gameplay and stuff like that from the demo as well let me know that of course everyone can try it but it's still nice to get my opinion uh, i'm working on a compilation as well and lastly if you guys would like me to do some more fifa 12 videos before we move on would you like some more squad builders would you like me to do like uh, a milan squad builder or something like that the ex Milan players like I was planning on let me know this in the comments below guys that'd be fantastic thanks always for watching leave a like if you enjoyed